I'm David Houle, uh, Sight and Sound Production Services. Adam Reese, T Grip. My name is Stephen Klein, and I'm a grip. I pursued work as a production assistant to break into the business. It was my easiest way to get in, get some work, and then began to work as a utility grip, where when they would bump to overnights or outside work, they would bring an additional grip on, and I would start to do that. I was able to work on one feature film. Uh, I got on uh, thanks to my internship at Lamplight Films. Uh, it was Grandmother's Murder Club featuring Pam Greer, Florence Henderson, and Judge Reinhold. And it was an eye-opening ex experience. It was crazy. Basically what the grip's job on the set is, is pretty much is a support department. They'll support the camera department, they'll support the electric department, they'll support the uh, audio department, they'll support the prop department. So a grip is essentially someone who uh, does a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of the hard work, a lot of the manual labor. We do a lot of the um, getting all the sandbags and all the stands ready for the electric team. The electric team is a team that we work pretty closely with, with uh, setting up all the lighting scenarios. Uh, both teams, grip and electric, work under two specific people, the key grip and the gaffer. The gaffer is the head electrician and the key grip is the person who is in charge of all the other grips. Of all the departments on the set, the grip department seems to I interact with most of the departments. They help art, they obviously work with the electrical department, they move the camera, uh, and they're there to solve the problems of, of the other departments in, in a technical capacity, in a creative capacity, in a physical capacity. Anything from, from rigging to, to strapping on the, you know cameras to cars for moving shots or to rigging heavy lights suspended on the ceiling, I mean, the key grips really have to know their stuff and they have to be on point. Essentially, anything that doesn't have a plug is pretty much what the grip department uh, deals with. Uh, so a term you'll hear a lot is uh, G&E. G&E refers to the two teams that work really closely together, which is grip and electric. Uh, grip and electric essentially set up every single scene. The simplest way to define and delineate the task between the electric and lighting department and the grip department is if it has a plug. If it plugs in, then it's part of the lighting department. If it doesn't have a plug, it's the grip department. Uh, essentially, what the electrics give, meaning light, uh, on the set, the uh, grips take it away. So what they do, they'll shape and mold the light, um, either modify it so it's not so intense, or block it out, or control the light itself. Um, there's other elements in terms of hiding and, and shaping light, focusing light, diffusing light. Uh, or all elements that happen in front of an instrument that the lighting department puts up. One of the most challenging things about being a grip is that, I mean, you have to endure. You gotta be ready to get dirty and get a little bruised up. Uh, you're gonna be doing a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, when I was on Grandmother's Murder Club, it was the middle of summer, we had a heat index of like 110, and it was blistering hot. And we're working out in a huge truck with a bunch of metal gear, and we're out in the sun, and everything was just, it was miserable. We were going through, you know, 12, 13, 14 bottles of water per person a day, and I'm not exaggerating. It was, it was absolutely crazy. The diversity of the people you work with from day to day as a freelancer, uh, there's a variety of folks that come through, uh, being able to interpret what they're hoping to accomplish. Uh, you come together for one day, two days at a time possibly. Uh, you, you have to work together, uh, understand how people communicate, uh, take that communication and make it an executable plan. But I would think the hardest thing is just to keep focus you know, and, be, and, be, and pay attention to it and not get lackadaisical. Think about the next shot that's coming up, what you're going to need on the next setup. Uh, you're always thinking ahead, so you're not wasting time. Time is of the essence and scheduling is just crazy. I mean, nerves can run so high on a set, especially for grips, because if the grips don't have their job done, nothing else can go on. That's the other big thing is anticipation. Uh, they may need it, they may not have it anyway. Uh, the big thing is, is that they're functioning safely first. Uh, safety is the most important element. Would I say being a grip is a thankless job? I'd say the people that are watching the movies have no idea that we even exist. But the crew members that we work very closely with, they understand that we're, we're busting our ass from start to finish, from dusk till dawn. So I think uh, the, the crew thanks us enough for the audience members who don't know we're there. I wouldn't say being a grip is a thankless job. 
being a grip, it's just part of the process, okay? Um, it's like building a bridge, building a house, building a building. You know, you were one of many, many, many to help erect that structure. And that structure happened to be a film, a commercial, a video, whatever, whoever it may be. And it's a collaborative uh, effort on all parts. One of the most rewarding things about being a group probably is all the thanks that we get. I mean, from, from the crew members. Because, uh, again, they see us and how hard we work. They see that, I mean, everything from, even when we get close to the camera, dolly grips, we're still moving a big truck with people sitting on it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so, even when we got it easy, we still got it a little rough, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's a good hard day's work. Again, our, our work goes recognized. We're always on set, so we get to see all the action. I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool job, and I like it a lot. Uh, there's enough different things that happen from set to set, job to job, that keep it interesting, so they're not repeating the same thing over and over again. But every lighting situation is different. Every set has a different set of challenges. There's all kinds of, uh, you know, challenges that are there to keep you creative, keep you going. One of the benefits of, of working in the grip department or in production in itself is the different places I get to go. Uh, uh, the things you get to sit in on, uh, a variety of activities and experiences uh, that uh, the job itself takes you to uh, would be probably my, uh, it's probably what I like the most.